Oh god, look at all these people. It took a while for them to register. How fortunate that his feet require stipulations have frustrated Bokoja's attempts to delay us. Mm hmm. Funny that he delay us even though he had to wait for us at the end. <laughs> Serves him right. Exactly. Serves him right. That's what he gets for endangering my people with his schemes. Why doesn't he just compete fairly? He's pretty strong for his own right and obviously has the mind for strategy. Twisted though it may be, I'll never understand them. Well, putting aside our competition for a moment, let me express how glad I am for this opportunity to work together, as I can see that our team possesses a distinct advantage. <laughs> of course we do! Any team! I'm on is bound to succeed. Mm hmm. Precisely. This duel. You mean we have the advantage in numbers? Yes. Our competition as a team of six do commence Saja and Boko Jaja lackeys. Whereas we're a team of nine. There's three more people we can mobilize. With the task suitably delegated, it should be a breeze affair to learn the recipe and assemble necessary ingredients. Too easy, if you ask me. Well, we mustn't be too overconfident. Let's make a careless mistake that could have been easily avoided. Well, our first order of business should be determine the recipe from Zub Kui. We can hardly gather ingredients for a dish we don't know nothing about. Given the nature of this feat, as for answers directly may prove less effective than simply observing the daily habitants of the Exbal people. Let's gather here once we have all the clues in this village has to offer. Alright, so let's talk with all the locals and see if they will divulge any information regarding the recipe, but I highly doubt they will. Oop, okay. Uh, where are we going? So we're just going back to the village? Cool. But before I do that, I need to do something real quick. Alright, let us continue. So we need to find clues in the vicinity. And where do I find clues? Hmm, somewhere in this vicinity, but where? Ooh, I see one over here. Colorful spices. A number of spices, some entirely unfamiliar to you, are nested in a basket. <laughs> that one's called an achiote. We mostly use it to add a bit of a color to our most popular cuisine, but its medical benefits are significant as well. Oh, that's really good to know. Next, um, uh, what is over? Oh, we got this. Our Cadicius fellow. The recipe from Yupuli. I wish I could tell you, friend. A dish so delicious, it's meant to be shared. Alas, we're forbidden to divulge anything. Orders from Hollow Rock himself. But your mansion has been given a fierce craving. I only hope there is still Iruk to be had in the market. Wink, wink. Let's see, so we need to find two more people. Oh, there's a lookout point right up there. So let us grab that real quick while we're here. And then slash out. Got that. So we need to find two more, which is in the vicinity, unless I need to go to the other 
stereo. Oh, here we go. Paul and the Beagle Guardian. We ought to cut our losses and head to Monok. This feat is nothing but a fool's errand. You're the fool you think we won tan our hinds for leather. If we dare to return without a enough keystones, besides, we did it from the house cat before. How difficult could the second time be? Well, you do know we can hear your plants out in the open, right? But what are you looking at? Salt liquor! Mind your own business! Well, sorry to eavesdrop on your conversation for which anyone can just eavesdrop on. Now I just need to talk to one more person. I'm guessing inside the puck over here. Oh, there it is. A bright banana peel. Yeah, that is one colorful banana peel, damn. Unusual colored banana peel has been neatly arranged on the ground, which appears to be smoking. Huh. Oh no! It appears it gone and dropped my nango. I mean, Jatika banana peel. I could barely see it with all the steam issuing from my underground oven. Ah, uh, there's nothing like enjoying a tasty banana while you use leaves for your cooking. Oh, okay. So basically what they have here is the underground oven. And for people who don't know what the underground oven is, it's basically a large hole or pit that you dig and then you use sand or heated rocks at the bottom of the hole to cook your food. Which, not a lot of people actually do these days, but some people still do at this point in time. Okay, alright. Um, uh, where to go? This way. Here, is this the... Yeah, it's the armor. Um, the clothing I get from the mugs. Not mugs, station, the market board. Uh, oh yeah, he might over here. Just unlock this gemstone trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Next. Okay. Well, we got everything we need, so let's head on back. Sorry, sorry, I'm back. So, with everyone here, what did we discover from Zikbui Piri? True to your predictions, the villagers were forbidden from educating us er, directly. Even though they're not supposed to, they're kind of nudging us in the general direction. However, many still preparing it as might be a staple dish, and authorization of their techniques yield clues enough. A lady blending local herbs and spices was only too happy to describe the ones I didn't even recognize, while neither confirming or denying the relation of the Zebu Puli. But one in particular she attributed an all common expo dish, a chothi, she called it. I see. The Nazubu is indeed a dish, is a ambiguous as Apple claims. We confirm our first ingredient. Meanwhile, I observed cooking buying bundles wrapped with tea leaves of monjoda or banana in certain locales. To it seem to use some subterranean oven is commonplace. I saw the same. I think we all know what's inside those bundles then, don't you? Hmm. Now that I think about it. Well, if you, without a doubt. I seasoning lab of beef. It smells so good I could practically practically taste it. Squeakily fresh of a bidalio fish. Mmm. I don't think it's the second option. Maybe it's the third and first. I'm gonna go to the first one. Well, it has to be Ebrook, without a doubt. 
as was expected of a dish called Ichibu Kubuli, indeed. To summarize, this dish is one of Ibuk's flavor with a combination of spices that includes atiote and steam on the ground with nanjo or banana leaves. Well, given our assumptions are correct, we must now learn and where and how to procure our ingredients. Well, as the staff of cuisine, its ingredients will be close at hand. Which is why Tancred and I scouted the surrounding forest while you were all exploring the village. Between the local vegetations with Ibuki, we should have everything we need in regards to meat and spices. <laughs> Leave it to the Master Gleamer at work. Of course. With that, we should now divvy our tasks while some gather ingredients. Others should make ready the kitchen. Well, I can help prepare the kitchen. Permit me to assist as well. Our ovens were down to require firewood, and I have some experience in gathering. Oh yeah, like that one time in Heavensward where Apollo was tasked to gather firewood. I too should be glad to volunteer my aid as well. If you have me, that is. Well, then the rest of us will gather ingredients. I make quick work of the spice herd myself. I am happy to lend some of a suitable Ubuki if they will be performed the requested deed, Alice. As for the Noja leaves, I believe I am more capable of acquiring that much of my own. Well, be warned, you won't find knowledge in these parts. They only grow in a Jatirika heartland, forest far from below these. Hmm, such so a incursion may be time consuming. Perhaps we ought to try pottering first. This feat encourages a communication with the locals, after all. Lamity, Arcturus, if you would accompany me on my errand. Sure, we can do that. No better way to whet my appetite. Good. Let us be about our task then. All right. Oh, I love that alpha on the mog station. I won't probably get that when there's a discount in the mog station, but it just looks too cool. Okay. Come on, let's go and get those knowledge leaves. The sooner we do, the sooner we can eat. Mm hmm. Alright, next. A history of violence. Let us see if there are knowledge leaves to be found in the village. Perhaps the cook you hear you mention might persuade us to spare us a few. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> All right, here's the cook. Hello, hello again. Do you need something? Well, about that, we're looking for some Nanja leaves. Do you have any in stock at the moment? Nanja leaves? For what purpose other than you beauty puberty, naturally? Unfortunately, I just used my last. You have to travel to the lower forest for more. Gomak Grove is the source of the finest Nanja leaves you find. While variants are sometimes seen in cities markets, can't compare. Well, in that case... I see. I hope to avoid such lengthy venture. But if there's no other way to obtain our ingredients, then... Jatika Heartland, we shall go. Allow me to save you the trip! Who's this person? 
Oh, it's Hamuruk. What are you doing here? Traveling there requires you to go through the Trublin Traverse. But it has been a cave-in, due to the recent storms, I suspect. Mm-hmm, so that's not like the only place got affected by the storm. What? But that means we can't get our Nongen leaves then. But we can, can we? If there's a way to procure them, you would have suspended his feet, or else alter it its objective. Perhaps. Anyway, I apologize for the interruption, but having overheard your conversation, I felt compelled to chime in. Well, that's very kind of you. Any last minute advice will be willing to share. Only to undertake the feast of a past with an empty stomach, we may find a itchability to be delicious but daunting dish to finish. <laughs> I can't wait. Still, if there's no leaves here, and we can't travel for more, how are we supposed to gather all our ingredients then? Hmm. These feet are meant to deepen our understanding of our people and cultures of Turyal. So, perhaps there's something about the Ikbili Pibli that we have yet learned. Something of significance other than its recipe or ingredients. Well, whatever significance it is, we will find a way. Oh, I see. Like, who's the first one to make it? It's history, that sort of thing. Ahem! If you actual history you are interested in, then you should start with the old war. Between the Exbra and the Moja Ja? Exactly. These forests are borne witness to centuries of warfare, and the evidence of it which means a scar upon the earth. To know the end of the bloodshed is to know the Itzbir Pibli. Huh. What does the steam Ibu have to do with bloodshed? Precisely the question we must answer. Vexing though such a detour may seem, I think no other way to approach these feet. In that case, you may wish to visit the site of the settlement ruined by the war. The village of Ison Osh. It lies short distance to the east. The village of Ilion Osh. Understood. Thank you for your help. Come, let's go and see this place. Alright, so our next destination is Ilion Osh, the abandoned village. Thank you guys for watching this recording session on Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Drill, main MSQ for 7.0 and onwards. If you have any comments, you can put them down below the video as well. And if you like this video, please click the like button, it is very much appreciated. And if you're curious about future content, you can check out my YouTube channel. If you like the content that's been uploaded there, you can probably subscribe. If not, that is alright. But, if you're going to, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified for future videos in the near future. And as always, I have three projects which are continuing on my channel, which are Final Fantasy XIV Raid, Trial, MSQ, Rockets, Droggers, Minions, Mounts, or anything related to Final Fantasy XIV. Secondly will be my two gachas, which are Great Grand or NA and Honkai Sorrow. And for both of them will be the Lost Belt Missions. The trail based continuance, the companion quest, and of course the future banners that will be coming for my two gachas respectively. And lastly, to say the least, Persona 5. And with that, this has been Raven Sleep 45. Take care, stay safe, and have a pleasant Final Fantasy 14 day.